We wanted to know, did Trump help bring more jobs to Americans, and not just jobs, but better jobs, better paying jobs, where people can get ahead, not just another minimum wage job. This is what we found. First the stats, then the expert. More jobs were lost during the Trump administration than any other in history. Approximately 4 million fewer people were employed from January 2017 to September 2020. Now let's hear from Seth Harris, former Labor Secretary under President Obama. Seth, can we get these jobs back? Well, there's no question that it can. It's just a question of whether our politics is going to allow it. You know, we're 10 million jobs below where we were in February of, 2000, of 2020. Um, we have still millions of Americans collecting unemployment benefits. We have miles long lines with tens of thousands of people at food banks who basically can't feed their kids. We have millions of Americans who are facing eviction or foreclosure on their homes. So for people in the lower half of the economic distribution in our country, middle class people and working class people, um, there's a deep hole that we need to climb out of. And the question is, will President Biden be able to persuade Congress to make the kinds of massive investments that are required in order not only to take us back to where we were in February before the pandemic, but to a new, fairer, more just, more equal economy with a growing middle class? That's the challenge for Congress in January. Not only are we 10 million jobs short of where we were, but we've also effectively lost one year of job growth. And so we have a lot of jobs to recover, but it's not enough just to take any job. You know, one of the problems with the recovery from the Great Recession was that there were a lot of jobs created, but many of them were low quality jobs that didn't have unions, didn't have benefits associated with them. They were low wage jobs. So the challenge is to build good, solid, unionized, middle class jobs. And there are segments of our economy that allow that kind of work. We know that if we invest in infrastructure, if we invest in manufacturing, if we invest in education, in the caring economy, in the energy sector to try to address the existential threat of climate change, those are good, solid jobs where unions have a meaningful presence and will be able to organize those workers. That's really what we need going forward. So. President-elect Biden laid out a detailed plan during the campaign called Build Back Better that is designed to do exactly what I just described. But the question is going to be, first of all, what happens in Georgia on January 5th with the runoff elections, but also what happens in Congress, depending upon which party controls Congress, whether they'll go along with him to make those huge investments that are needed for the future of our country. So many Americans put a lot of weight on Wall Street and how well Wall Street is doing, on whether they're doing well, on whether their 401k is doing well. But should we? Well, I'm not sure I really care what Wall Street thinks about this economy. They are not going to be the drivers of economic growth in this country. And I think Joe Biden knows that. I had the opportunity to work very closely with him during his leadership of the implementation of the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act, which brought America back from the Great Recession. He really understands, first of all, what's going on in middle class families and working families' lives. But he also understands how to put government to work helping those families families in order to get themselves back into the middle class and climb that career ladder that they're all hoping to get up. So I think uh, a, a president like Biden really understands what's needed here. He learned a lot from the experience back in 2009, 2010, 2011. He knew what worked then. He knows what's going to work now. Again, the question is, will our politics allow it? My hope is that they will. What can you do right now? Spend less, save more. If you can have it automatically go into your savings account, even better.